Hey guys, as you can see, I'm sitting downstairs. I'm in my living room. It's a lot cooler in here. It is a lot cooler. Um, normally, I record upstairs. You know, you probably you know my office now. You can see the the graphics cards in the background and all that. But actually, behind the PC, behind my recording area, is my mining rigs. I've got four different mining rigs, and because of all those GPUs, I've got thirty GPUs in the room running at all times. It gets pretty warm. Now, that wasn't always the case. When I started uh, mining cryptocurrency in December, people, you know, a few people said, it's impractical, your room's going to be too hot. But it wasn't. It was actually fantastic. I didn't have to put any heat in the house, and because of all the GPUs running, it was a really nice temperature. I mean, I, I normally wore like tracksuit tops or a jumper or something, but it was a very nice temperature as far as, um, you know, sitting there. It was pleasant. But it was a cold winter, but then we, Obviously, the last month or so, we've come out of the cold temperature in Scotland, spring. Um, I think May is technically still spring, but I think historically May is normally one of the hottest months of the year in the UK, um, more so than perhaps July and August. Uh, and the temperatures have been maybe 20, maybe you know above 20 some days, sometimes between 15, 20 odds per, uh, per day. And I realise if you're in a warm country, that isn't warm. I've travelled myself in warm countries where it's 30 plus, 35, 40 plus. But here that's pretty warm and especially if you're in a room with 30 GPUs spinning constantly. So I've only got one fan uh, in the room just now, just a little one. And it was pointing at my main PC. So this video is really about cooling my 1080 Ti's. Specifically two of them. Now I've got six 1080 Ti's. I've got 24 1060's. The top of my mining rig I've got four 1080 Ti's. But there's space there for another two. I've got two 1080 Ti's in my main PC. Now, the two cars in the main PC, because of ventilation, because you know that it's kind of boxed into the PC and it's not on an open air rig, those things get really, really warm. Um, not too bad, as I said, in the winter this was never an issue. But I've noticed recently, you know, I had them sat, uh, I had them positioned at say, I think it was about 85% power. And the ones in the rig were sitting around 70 degrees, which is probably at the top end of where you want them to be temperature-wise. But I noticed the last few days that the, the two cars in my main PC were well over 80. And I'm like, right, I need to, I need to sort this. So I, I looked at perhaps mining Ravencoin because, you know, a few people said that it, it's not as hard on your GPUs. But um, that wasn't the case. It was still pushing it hard. You know, there just isn't enough airflow getting into the, the main PC, despite the fact I've got the case open and stuff. Um, so what I did was I jumped the power last night from 85% down to 70%. This dropped temperatures down by 10 degrees. Now, I need to monitor this situation, you know, over the next week or so. Perhaps I need to drop them some more. That might be the best thing for me to do. Um, but it, it's, it, just, it was a reminder that you always have to keep monitoring your setup. You always have to keep checking your mining setup. The thing is with mining, there's a lot of kind of messing about at the start, there's a lot of configuration, there's a lot of testing, there's a lot of things like that. But once you get it going and it's working, you just kind of step back and go, right, I'm good to go, I'm happy with it, I won't touch it. But you do still have to do testing. You have to test whenever you do a new algorithm, um, you know, a new coin that uses a different algorithm. You need to test when the temperatures change as well. But I haven't been changing things when the temperatures changed. Um, I have an option though to improve this situation. Right now, the, the main problem is in the main PC, I've got two 1080 Ti's. There really isn't a lot of room um, in that PC and it's basically, it's hurting the, the, the airflow in the PC. Now, originally I wanted two 1080 Ti's in my PC to give me a little bit more flexibility with what I did. Um, for example, if I streamed a game to my other channel, through my, my other channel uh, covers technology and gaming and things like that. And I did a couple of live streams. With one 1080 Ti, it was pretty it was pretty hard to stream a game and record at the same time to stream it and play the game. But when you put the two cards in SLI, you obviously, you know, two GPUs working together as one. It, it really, really in, uh, helped with streaming. In hindsight though, it, uh, you know, that was my idea with putting the two 1080 Ti's together. But over the last few months, in hindsight, it probably wasn't the right thing to do because I've actually not streamed that many games. I had plans to stream a lot of games, but I didn't. So, yes, I've I've dropped the power of those two 1080 Ti's in the rigs, and they're down. Um, they're down to like seventy percent now. 
it's, it's kind of interesting because the two the two cards in, in, in my main PC, the two 1080 Ti's, they are running at 70, degree, uh, 70 degrees and at 70% power, roughly. Right, you know, goes up and down a few degrees. But they're at the same temperatures as the ones in the open air rig and I can get an extra 15% power on those. What I've seen it from a sol point of, uh, from a hash rate point of view, I think my hash rate dropped from like 740 sols down to about 715. Now, this is always a concern. This is something you need to check. And it's, some, it's, it's, it's hard to find that balance sometimes. I have reduced my hash rate for those two cards. But you obviously, you know, you need to think long term. You need to think, well, I don't want to um, burn out my GPUs. And there's things, you know, you can also wear out the thermal paste and you might have to reapply the thermal paste and all that because of the overheating as well. So I'm going to take a hit and reduce my hash rate right now because I've dropped the, the power of those 1080Ti's. But in theory, that should help the 1080Ti's last longer and it should stop them burning up. And, you know, I, I don't want anything to happen to the 1080Ti's, obviously. It's better to take a small hit in your hash rate and keep the cars running for a year or two than it is to burn them up in six months. But one option I have is to take the 1080Ti out, take one of them out. I need to keep one of them for recording, obviously. Um, but I'll take one 1080Ti out and I'll put it on my the top of my uh, mining rig. So I'll put it in the fourth rig at the very top uh, where I've got four 1080Ti's just now. And I'll have five there. I've, I've got the, the power supply uh, is built and it uh, is, is powerful enough to run six 1080Ti's on there. So in theory, I could take all of them out. Um, but as I said, they need to get one in the main PC. But the idea is I could take one 1080Ti out, put it on the, the open air rig. That will be able to run at a better temperature. And the one in my main PC should get much better airflow as well. Now, I've not done it yet. I, I want to monitor things over the next few days. I'm going to keep an eye on temperatures and just see how things work out. But long term, if I'm not going to be doing any game streaming through my main PC, I think that is a smart move. In fact, I probably, <laughs> I really probably should have done this a few months ago when I think about it. Um, so I think, yeah, I'm going to probably move the 1080 Ti to the open air rig at one point. It is just a reminder, though, that, you know, I've my mining rig set up is, without patting myself in the back, is pretty awesome. You know, I use I use Awesome Miner, but I've got everything set up where everything is controlled. I can do it all from, an, you know, my other laptop through Awesome Miner and all this. I've got everything uh, going through Awesome Miner. I can change the speed of GPUs. I can do all these different things. I've got it all and it runs well. I've set up multiple pools. I've set up lots of different templates in Awesome Miner. I can quickly change what I'm mining very, very, you know, very easily. It's, it isn't difficult at all. Uh, and it's, it's took me a while. I've just kind of plugged along, uh, uh, chipped away at it, I guess you would say, and just added a little bit and added a little bit and added some more configuration and, you know, kind of tweak things, tweak things more, tweak things more. And now I've got a system that works really, really well. But as a reminder, you can't just, you know, assume that everything is perfect. You can't assume that um, everything is going to continue to work well. One of the big things about mining is temperature, is heat. Keeps putting, you know, those GPUs keep putting a lot of hot air. So what I do need to do is keep monitoring that. If the temperatures go up, I'm going to have to keep reducing the power of my GPUs to make sure that they don't burn up. So if you watch this channel for cryptocurrency investing and trading and finding out, finding out about new coins, this probably isn't very interesting at all. But I know a lot of you guys GPU mine and you know, you're perhaps in the same situation as me where you built your rigs in the winter and now you're approaching summer and you're like, right, what am I going to do? Now, there's obviously things, as I said, you can do, you can buy fans, you can open the windows uh, wider and things like that. But it is hard to exhaust heat. And one of the easiest ways to, to deal with, you know, too much heat in the room is to simply reduce the, the amount of heat that's been dissipated through the, the fans. And you, it will affect your hash rates, but long term, it should hopefully be the right thing to do. So thanks for watching, guys. I do appreciate it. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Let me know how you're getting on with your rigs. If you're in Western Europe or, you know, if you're in, um, well, basically the, the northern uh, the northern hemisphere, you're probably experiencing spring and summer right now, which means the temperatures will start begin, they'll start to get a little bit warmer. Uh, so let me know how you're dealing with all this. Let me know how you're coping with it. Are you changing your rigs? Are you adding fans? Are you dropping power? What are you doing, guys? What are you doing? Let me know what you think, and I'll speak to you all in the next one. Cheers, guys.